A researcher is studying a new drug. 100 healthy test subjects have received the drug and toxicity and safe levels are measured. What phase is this study in? Phase one, phase two, phase three, or phase four? I'll let you answer this question and then I'll explain in five seconds. So the answer is going to be A, phase one. So for any time you want to release a new drug to the public, you need to undergo different phase trials. So phase one typically tries to understand the safety of a new drug in healthy patients. So you just have a very small amount of patients to, to just see, make sure that it's safe. And so then we get into phase two. So you try to look at the efficacy and the optimal dosage, and you report any side effects that you, you, that you see. And then we typically scale up to in the hundreds in terms of patient volume. And then we move forward. And then in phase three, we look at the therapeutic value. So we scale up to around the thousands in terms of participants and then see how well the drug works against the placebo. Obviously, we want the drug to work better than placebo because if it doesn't, then it's kind of useless, right? Uh, because it essentially is the same as not giving the medication. And the and also it's compared to other drugs on the market. It's not really helpful to create another Tylenol. You want something that works better than Tylenol or whatever drug that you're trying to compete against and that's already on the market. And then finally, we have phase four that looks at long-term side effects. So phase four is almost always ongoing. So for example, even after many years, you still want to monitor to see if there's any long-term effects of these things. And so just going back, this is a straightforward question asking about your understanding of different phases um, in terms of research of a drug. And so I hope that helped and thanks for watching.